Welcome to Align Books. We are happy to have you on board. In this Help Studio tutorial, we will explore the Purchase Debit Note, Credit Note Received from Vendor preparation options. Before we begin, let us understand about the need of purchase debit note entry and the relevance of this particular activity. If your vendor made a mistake at the time of preparing an invoice, resulting in over-invoicing, for example, rate overcharged or agreed discount not allowed, etc., either your vendor raises a credit note or you need to rectify it by issuing a debit note. Practically, under this module, you enter the credit notes issued by your vendor. You can create a purchase debit note under the Purchase module of Alignbooks. The key functions of Purchase Debit Note module are Creation of a new purchase debit note Modification of an existing purchase debit note Deletion of an existing purchase debit note Configuration Alignbooks provides you with a facility to configure your debit note documents with respect to choice of linking with parent documents, choice of maintaining multiple series of documents, choice of sending an email or SMS on creation or edit or approval of the document, and for approval system settings etc. Click on Configuration to configure this document. Let's now understand how to create a new debit note in simple steps. You have three ways to prepare a purchase debit note. Enter fresh data for the first time. Open an existing document and use the copy feature of Alignbooks to make the necessary changes. This will save your time and efforts. If you have data in an Excel format, import the data and make the required changes. Let's enter the fresh set of data for the first time. Location if you are handling multi-locations, select the required location from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured multi-location on in configuration, then company setup, then general setup. Create new location. If your desired location does not exist in the menu, you can create a new location by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Edit or delete location. You can also edit or delete a location from here. Select a location to be edited or deleted and then click on the pencil icon. The location will be opened in edit mode and you can edit it and save it by clicking on save. You can delete it by clicking on delete. Category. If you are classifying your document in different categories, select the applicable category from the drop down menu. This field is available only if you have configured Document Classification on in Configuration, then Company Setup, then Purchase Setup, then Basic. You can add, edit or delete a category by following the process described under the Location tab. Vendor. Select a vendor from the drop-down menu for whom you are preparing the debit note. You can add, edit or delete a vendor by following the process described under the Location tab. Email. The system will automatically pull the email ID from the vendor master. If you wish to change the same for this document, you can do that here. Currency. If your purchases are in a foreign currency, select a currency from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured multi-currency on in configuration, then company setup, then general setup. 
If your desired currency does not exist in the menu, you can add a new currency by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop down menu. Conversion rate. The system will automatically get the conversion rate from the currency master if already created by you. If you wish to change the currency conversion rate for this particular document, you can do the same here. Debit date. Enter the debit note date which you wish to reflect in the document. By default, the system will take the current date. You can also pick a different date by just clicking on the calendar function. Debit note number, prefix. While configuring your document, if you have opted to maintain manual prefix, select a prefix from the drop-down list. If the required prefix does not exist in the list, you can create a new prefix by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Number. While configuring your document, if you have opted to maintain manual numbering, enter a document number here. Ref number. Here, you may enter the vendor's document reference number or previous document number, if any. Say if you have received a written estimate from your vendor, you can give the reference number of that estimate. Ref date. Here, you may enter the reference document's date. You can also pick a date by just clicking on the calendar function. Agent. If an agent or broker is involved in this procurement, select an agent or broker from the drop-down menu. This field is available only if you have configured agent-wise billing on, in, configuration, then company setup, then purchases setup. If the required agent or broker does not exist in the menu, you can create a new one by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Tax. Select Inclusive from the drop-down menu if rates are inclusive of taxes, else select Exclusive. This field is available only if you have configured Tax Applicable in Sales or Purchase on, in Configuration, then Company Setup, then General Setup. Also, this field will be active only if you have configured Tax in Rates, Document Based, in Configuration, then Company Setup, then purchases set up. Billing address. The system will trace and autofill the billing address, GST number and contact person details automatically from the vendor master. You can make changes in any of these autofilled fields if you so desire. Shipping address. The system will trace and autofill the shipping address details automatically from the vendor master. You can make changes in any of these auto-filled fields if you so desire. Payment term. The system will trace and auto-fill the payment terms from the vendor master. You can make changes if you wish to. If the required payment term does not exist in the menu, you can create a new payment term by clicking on the pencil icon or the plus option within the drop-down menu. Due date. Based on payment term selected, the system will auto-calculate the payment due date. If you are not maintaining payment terms, you can enter the payment due date here. Pull from. This field is used to import data from the parent document. Upon selection, a list of parent documents will be on display. If there is no parent document linked, this option will be shown as disabled. Look up. This option will work like a barcode. If you enter an item code, the system picks up the relevant details automatically. So far, we have entered the relevant details to clearly identify the vendor and the debit note. We will now enter the specific item or product details to generate a purchase debit note. It is important to note that the item details entered here shall be used for financial posting purpose only and shall not be posted in inventory records because this debit note is created to give only financial effect. If you want to give effect of such quantity in your inventory records, you must create the document Purchase Return instead of Debit Note. Plus, click here to add a row to the table. X, click here to delete a row from the table. Item Code. Select an item code from the drop-down list. Click on the plus to add a new item. Description. The system will fill the description details automatically from the item master. Unit. 
the system will fill the unit details automatically from the item master. Quantity. Enter the item quantity here. Rate. The system will pick the rate from the item rate master. If you are maintaining rate master and have entered rate in your item master, it could be picked from there as well. Alternatively, you will have to enter the rate manually. Amount. The system will calculate the amount automatically, i.e. with the multiplication of quantity times rate. Posting GL. If you have created purchases ledgers item-wise, the system will automatically fetch the GL selected by you in Item Master. Remark. If you wish to put any remark against an item, enter here. Item Balance. The system will display the stock in hand of this particular item. The table is dynamic and many extra columns in the table will appear based on your configuration in Company Setup. If you set up these fields, you will need to enter relevant values in columns created for each item row. The columns which will appear based on configuration in company setup are Column, Tax Code, will appear if General Setup, then Tax Applicable in Sales or Purchase, on Tax Rate, General Setup, Tax Applicable in Sales or Purchase, on Taxable, General Setup, Tax applicable in sales or purchase, on. Tax amount, general setup, tax applicable in sales or purchase, on. Pack unit, inventory, then basic, then separate packing unit, on. Pack quantity, inventory, then basic, then separate packing unit, on. Print description. Inventory, then basic, then separate print description, on. Item serial number. Inventory, then item extended property, then item serial number, tracking, on. Batch number. Inventory, then item extended property, then batch wise inventory, on. Service date. Inventory, then service, then input service date, on. Service location. Inventory, then service, then service location, on. User defined item wise charges. Purchases setup, then billing setup, then item level. User defined item attributes, 1 to 5. Inventory, then item attributes, required. Remark. Input here any remark pertaining to the document. Attachment. Here you may upload any supporting documents which can be used for future reference. For example, you may scan and attach a copy of a credit note received from the vendor. You can browse the location to attach the same. Click on the X to remove the attachment. User defined fields 1 to 5. During the purchase setup, if you have selected user defined fields, these will appear with the caption provided by you for these extra fields. You may enter the relevant values or data in the applicable field. Purchases value. The system will calculate the total item purchases value based on the data filled in the table during the creation of a purchase order and will display here. User defined extra charges or discounts item level. During company configuration, if you have defined item wise extra charges or discounts etc, the system will calculate the total item extra value based on the data filled in the table during the creation of a debit note and will display here. Taxable. This represents the total taxable purchases value of all the items auto calculated by the system. Tax amount. This represents the total tax amount for all the items auto calculated for the items mentioned in the table. User defined extra charges or discounts document level. If you have set to have any extra charges or discounts on document level, these items will appear here with the caption given by you. You can enter the relevant value against each item. Round off. Depending on the round off level selected by you, your document will be rounded off and the round off difference, rounded value, actual value, will be shown here. This field will not be available if you have configured round off none in configuration, then company setup, 
then purchases set up, then basic. DN amount. This represents the total debit note amount. Attribute. This field is available only if you have selected to use attributes in general ledgers. Configuration, then company setup, then finance, then attribute. And the GL where attribute is linked is affected by this debit note. For example, if you have allocated an attribute with GL delivery charges and an amount is going to be debited or credited by creation of this debit note, the system will ask you to select an attribute to be linked with delivery charges. Click on Save to save the document prepared by you. Click on Print to print the document prepared by you. If you want to send an email or SMS, click on the arrow beside Mail and click on Email or SMS. Clear. Before clicking this option, make sure that the data entered is no more required by you. The moment you click on this option, the system will erase all the data and give you an empty screen to enter fresh data. Import. Click on Import to import data and select a file from which the data is to be imported. Schedule. If you want to create a schedule for this document, click on Schedule. You have completed creation of new purchase debit note. Open. Click here to open an existing debit note. Copy. Click here to copy the values from an existing debit note. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give us a call for further help. Happy aligning!